Tonight, some big news involving a KCPD officer who was shot in the line of duty. The officer who's been with the department for two and a half years was shot in the head on July 2nd. And back on that day, many didn't think that he would even survive. Our Greg Payne talked to his physicians as he was released from Truman Medical Center today. It was July 2nd right here at the intersection of Van Brunt and 31st where that officer was shot in the head. Now, 21 days later, doctors are now talking about that exact day. Five to 10 more minutes, uh, no, there was probably not a chance of surviving. A number of members of Truman Medical Center's University Health say if it weren't for the police officers who brought their down colleague to the hospital, the outcome could have been fatal. I do not take it lightly that the reason that he's with us still is are his colleagues. If his colleagues have waited for EMS to come, and that's no knock on EMS at all, but this type of injury, minutes and seconds are really vital. But after that, the revival process of this officer was in the hands of the medical staff. John Giannino is the neurosurgeon at Truman Medical Center's University Health, who operated on the officer, saving his life by operating to stop bleeding and allow for expecting brain swelling. Based on what I saw on the CAT scan, I, I really had, I was, really hopeful that we could actually make a difference in this person's life. And he, along with the rest of his crew, did. The officer who started in critical condition is now being checked into a rehab facility and is showing positive signs in his recovery, something his police family and his family who wrote a letter cannot be more thankful of. A mere thank you seems not enough for a life. But we would like to thank all the staff at the hospital from the bottom of our hearts. And the family, along with KCPD, also wanted to leave a special thank you to the community for all that you've done in this officer's recovery. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News. Police say 31-year-old Kai Johnson shot the officer. Johnson was shot and killed by police.